When we had a virtual prize day last year, I hoped it would be a one-off. We'd all be together again in the assembly hall for 2021, looking back on an action-packed school year. As we all know, that was not to be with autumn and summer term restrictions and school closure for the spring term, reducing school to a basic diet of lessons and homework. That's not the school experience we want, of course, but it was the inevitable outcome of the COVID-19 new variants and a surge in cases. Things look a bit different today with the vaccine programme providing some light at the end of the tunnel. And we're beginning to see a move towards a more normal school life with the return of practical classes, extracurricular activities and local trips. Maybe next year we really will be back together for Prize Day and celebrating a year of activity, progress and success. Our virtual Prize Day includes a short review of 2020-21 from me, some photos of our prize winners and some video messages from former pupils who have gone on to make their mark in the sporting world. We hope you enjoy it. Our thanks then go to Philip Eaglesham, Rebecca Edwards, Callum Bain, Samantha Kelly and Peter Nelson for taking time out of their busy schedules to provide us with their encouraging video messages. This summer in Tokyo, Philip was shooting for Ireland at the Paralympics, whilst Rebecca was rowing in the GB Women's Eight at the Olympics. Callum has represented both Ireland and Northern Ireland at swimming, including at the Commonwealth Games, while Samantha is a member of the Northern Ireland women's football squad, which has qualified recently for the European Championships in 2022. Peter won 60 caps for Ulster and plays for Canada, including at the last Rugby World Cup. Their messages highlight some common themes, that success only comes with hard work and dedication, that setbacks and failures along the way are unavoidable, that learning from these and working on areas of weakness are essential steps towards improvement, and that no one can succeed alone that allies such as coaches, peers and family are crucial for the individual to achieve highly. These are inspirational RSD people from the heart of our community, echoing the values of our school and personifying our ethos. Preserve Arando, never give up, always seek the best from yourself. In a year where sport has provided an element of distraction from the problems caused by COVID-19, we've been fortunate to enjoy some truly great moments. Whether in glory or disappointment, the perspectives offered by sports people so often echo what we hear in our video messages today. Emma Raducanu's US Open win is the greatest sporting achievement by a British sports person bar none, in my view but her constant refrain is that she only had a chance to succeed thanks to her team. After 13 years of expectation, near misses and criticism, Tom Daly won Olympic diving gold by drawing upon an inner calmness, sense of perspective to deal with the pressure through knitting. When Lauren Price was behind in her boxing semi-final, she relied upon a few moments of clear advice from her coach to reset her approach, win the bout and go on to Olympic gold. And in one of the most inspiring and moving interviews ever broadcast, Ellie Robinson explained how finishing fifth in her Paralympic swimming final was, quote, a story of triumph and not a story of defeat that overcoming physical and mental set setbacks to reach the Paralympics final and to end her career doing what she loved, that was victory. If you haven't watched it, then please do. Now we all need people around us to support us, a structure we can rely upon, routines which help us not only to get through the day, but also to build towards a goal. And the past year saw so much disruption that for many people, these vital supports were shaken and sometimes removed altogether. 
The impact of COVID-19 on our school community has been very real. And yet in that adversity, we have seen the best of people so often with pupils, parents, staff and friends of the school pulling together to help one another and also to help the wider Dungannon community. Our sense of togetherness has been our strength as a school community. The school year began with a huge effort to make the new COVID-19 restrictions and mitigations work across the whole school campus. Vaccines were still a long way off and following government guidance was paramount. At RSD, each person did that to the best of their ability. And even today, with the vaccine programme far advanced, there's still a consideration of others and desire to protect one another in the adherence to well-established guidance, such as hand hygiene and wearing face coverings. Despite our best efforts, the autumn term ended with an increase in COVID-19 cases and the eventual decision to close schools in January as part of another major lockdown. A short while later, we learned about the cancellation of public exams, though it would be many weeks before we knew what the new exam grading system would be. From January to April, we were all back to remote learning. Now, you may recall that last year I described this as crisis learning or emergency learning. For no matter how much remote learning you have or how good you make it, there is no substitute for being in normal lessons. Our blended approach of live and recorded lessons alongside Google Classroom and paper resources and tasks allowed all pupils to access the adjusted curriculum. For many pupils, this was fairly straightforward, but for others, it was challenging and there was a need for more direct school support. During and immediately after lockdown, around 100 RSD pupils received one-to-one -one support for academic or pastoral needs or both. For some, this included providing IT kit to allow access to online resources. Many RSD staff went above and beyond when it came to supporting pupils in their learning and through the difficulties of lockdown. And the support of parents was invaluable. Thank you to all of you. After Easter, we returned to school to everyone's relief. There were lots of smiling faces and a desire to get back to normal lessons as swiftly as possible. For senior pupils, <coughs> this included completing course content and sitting class assessments as part of the grading process for GCSE, AS and A-level. A range of evidence allowed teachers to make a holistic judgment about each pupil's level of work and our aim was to provide the best grades possible for our pupils whilst respecting the integrity of the grading process. The scale of the task for the teaching staff was enormous. With schools effectively carrying out most of the tasks exam boards normally undertake. And I want to thank our teachers, and in particular Mr Klingen, for the professionalism and quality of the work done. Our pupils earned their grades through their hard work and focus, working with their teachers in a constructive manner throughout. RSD staff and pupils can be very proud of the work done for grading 2021 and the pupils can be confident that you earned your results and they are fully merited. At A-level year 14 pupils achieved outstanding grades which helped many to be placed in their chosen university courses or prestigious apprenticeships. You can see an extended list of top performers on the RSD website, but special congratulations go today to Grace Ferguson, who was awarded four A star grades, Samuel Thompson, who achieved three A star and one A grades, and John Burney and Alice Hayes, who were each awarded three A star grades. Year 13 pupils also achieved excellent AS grades, with Adam Curran, Niall Keyes, Jim Lamb, May Lau, Caitlin McGregor, Catherine McCammon, Chloe McCahy and Abigail Patterson all awarded four A grades. At GCSE results were also superb, 
with 20 pupils achieving a combination of 10 A star or A grades. Sienna Fenton led the way with 10 A star grades, closely followed by Rebecca Needham, Cassie Parr and Caitlin Wiley, who all returned 9 A star grades plus 1 A grade, and Robin Archer, Grace Boyle and Annabelle Davidson, who were each awarded 8 A star grades plus 2 A grades. Congratu congratulations to all the RSD pupils who received their grades this summer. You worked hard and you made these possible through your commitment and your ability. At the end of last term, we said farewell to Mrs. Pamela McMullen, who joined RSD back in 1993 as head of department for food technology. Her outstanding teaching has been a constant and she's guided many hundreds of pupils over the years towards super, uh, superb exam results. Mrs. McMullen was also ahead of year for many years and widely respected for her ability to push young people to find the best of themselves. And she was also very involved with Junior SU and often helped with supervision on various school trips. She's had an enormous impact on so many people at RSD being popular with pupils and colleagues alike as they benefited from her guidance. We will all miss her and we wish Mrs McMullen every happiness in retirement. This year we say welcome back to Mrs Glenn in the biology department following her career break and we welcome three new colleagues to RSD. Mrs Simpson and Ms Logan joined the Food Technology Department where they will be teaching both FT and Health and Social Care and Mrs Shaw joins the Art and Design Department. All three will be involved with girls games and boarding and we hope they enjoy their time at RSD. We begin this year with lots of the COVID-19 mitigations and procedures from last year still in place. Hand hygiene, social distancing and face coverings continue alongside split break and lunch arrangements. But the bubble classes for years 8 to 10 have gone and practical classes have returned for everyone. Our cleaning staff continue to clean door handles, stair banisters and tables throughout the day, while locker rooms and changing rooms remain not in use. Extracurricular activity for pupils has recommenced in earnest but school events with an audience are still off the agenda. Altogether, this is a better position than this time last year. And we're looking forward to a year with lots going on and more opportunities for pupils to have fun in school. Making school work in these circumstances has been a huge undertaking. And my gratitude goes to the deputy head, Mr. Klingen, the bursar, Mr. Wheeler, and the head of boarding, Ms. Winslow, along with the many teaching and non-teaching staff who have contributed in lots of different ways. It has been a terrific team effort. Now, for most of last year, restrictions and lockdowns meant that we were not able to run our usual programme of extracurricular activities, hold whole school events or organise trips. Now, despite this, we continued to look after one another and to enjoy some moments of fun together especially towards the end of the year. Our year 13 pupils were able to take part in the Young Enterprise Scheme and find out about running their own businesses. And the Charities Committee enjoyed a number of fundraising successes, such as the Christmas Appeal and distributing food hampers during lockdown, with these efforts acknowledged with the Community Champion Award from Kinship Carers. Our pastoral team continued a number of programmes, such as empowering young minds for sixth formers, with training provided through the Neve Louise charity, and the chill skills and overloaded mental health awareness training for year eight. Support for individuals in school via REACH mentoring, plus ongoing outreach work with REACH in the wider Dungannon community, was recognised by the Department of Education awarding RSD the Derry Trasna Award and we were pleased to welcome the Education Minister to hand over the award to Mrs Kerr and the pastoral team. And we're now looking forward to the UK-wide National Awards for Pastoral Care and Education Ceremony coming up in a few days' time. 
This is a terrific achievement and a much deserved pat on the back for the RSD pastoral team. Congratulations to you all. During lockdown, we tried to entertain ourselves and stay fit with workout videos and the PE department's house challenges, only to undo the good work by eating whatever we baked or cooked from the FT department's latest recipe. It was probably best we all got back to school for the summer term and were able to be more active with the sponsored walk, sports day, house competitions and the PFTA fun day in the final few weeks of the year. And these were good signs for this academic year. And we're all thrilled to see more pupil activities back on the agenda for 2021 to 2022. In similar vein, we had no rugby or hockey fixtures last year, but by the summer things were beginning to restart and we were delighted to see a number of RSD pupils involved with Ulster squads. Adam Scott played for the under-19 Ulster squad, while James Gervin and Ryan McCammon turned out for the Ulster under-18 club squad. Year 14 leaver Sarah Shrestha captained the Ulster under-18 girls rugby team in their inter-pro games, while in hockey Lily Gallagher played for the Ulster under-16 development squad and Molly Watt was included in the Ulster under-18 squad. Congratulations to you all. As we move towards a more normal school life, it's still important to respect the various restrictions and mitigations in place and to keep supporting one another and protecting our community. I want to say thank you to RSD governors, staff, pupils, parents, former pupils and friends of the school for all your collective efforts over the past 18 months. It is our sense of community which has helped us to get through this difficult time and I'm sure that it will be the bedrock for our return to a more vibrant Royal School experience in the months ahead. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca Edwards and I'm an Olympic rower. I recently represented Great Britain at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. I want to say a huge congratulations to all of the prize winners, but an even bigger congratulations for your hard work and dedication, particularly during a year when things haven't been easy. If I could offer you some words of encouragement for the future, they would be keep working hard, dedicate yourself to something that you love and be determined to reach your goals. These are all values that I learned at the Royal School Dungannon, particularly in the modern language department, thanks to Mr. Murr, Mrs. Stitt and Mrs. Kerr. All three encouraged me to do my best. They encouraged me to improve on my weaknesses and they always pushed me to do my best. Things aren't always easy and there are challenges, but the last biggest piece of advice I can give you is keep believing in yourself. Some days you might feel like you can't take on the challenge or the mountain is too high to climb, but with that determination and that hard work, you can mount any challenge just step by step. And when you do that, doors open that you never expected. I originally wanted to be a modern languages teacher, but I ended up going to Queens and studying French and Spanish and a door opened for me in rowing and now, I've achieved my biggest dream of being an Olympic rower. And the last thing I want to say to you is never give up. Recently, I've placed seventh at the Olympic Games. It's not what I wanted. I obviously wanted to place in the medals, but I won't give up. There's lots that I've learned from it. I will keep being determined and I'll keep working on my weaknesses and I want you to do the same. Hi everyone, my name's Callum. Uh, I don't think there's any students here that were still here when I was at school. Uh, I think it's just past that point. You might however recognise my name from the late book, although most of the time I had permission for that, thanks to Mr Klingen. Um, but I've represented both Northern Ireland and Ireland in swimming, and I've been a finalist at the Commonwealth Games, and I'm actually heading to my first World Championships this December. Um, but I'm here just to say congratulations to all you prize winners. Um, I'm sure it's been quite the unorthodox year. 
So I commend you on being able to adapt to these extraordinary circumstances and earn your prize. And you know, that's quite the valuable skill because it's not often everything's a smooth ride. Um, I know that if you're going to a competition, your bus gets cancelled, the venue, your trunks rip, your hat snaps. Um, and it's often in these times, it's the people that can overcome uh, this and adapt quickest um, to the new circumstances that rise up and succeed. And that's, that is a great skill they've picked up so early. So um, congratulations. And that's all from me. Hi everyone at RSD, it's Peter Nelson here. Uh, I'm currently in America preparing for a Rugby World Cup qualifier match against the USA. Um, I'd like to say a massive congratulations to all the prize winners this year. Um, all really thoroughly deserved after all your hard work. Uh, RSD gave me a brilliant platform um, to go on and have the professional rugby career that I've had so far um, and I'll always be incredibly grateful for, for, to them for that. Um, to all you with aspirations to go on and do great things in your own field, keep working hard and um, all the best with everything this upcoming year. Uh, I'll be following the rugby season with great interest and I wish you all the best for, for the season. Um, good luck guys, thank you.
Hello everyone, I'm Samantha Kelly, Senior Women International Footballer from Northern Ireland. Um, I just wanted to say congratulations to all the prize winners today and to say well done. I'm a former RSD uh, pupil and thinking back to my time there, RSD always taught me to aim high, uh, to work hard and encouraged me in everything that I've done. Um, I was always involved in sport throughout RSD, which helped me in my journey uh, through international football. So I would encourage you to take every opportunity that RSD has to offer, as I never thought back then that I would uh, end up playing for Northern Ireland. Hi everyone, my name is Philip Eaglesham, and thank you for the invitation to take part in your prize day. I'm a former pupil of RSD, and since leaving school I've went on to do many different things. I'm a former Royal Marines Commando, having served all over the world, from the Arctic of Norway to the jungles of Brunei and Malaysia. Operational tours in Iraq and two of Afghanistan, where I contracted a life-changing illness. Since then, I've went on to develop an innovative wheelchair, campaign for mental health with the Royal Family on the Heads Together campaign, and I currently compete for Ireland in target shooting. I'm the current World Championship bronze medalist and two-time Paralympian having recently returned from Tokyo. As I look back fondly at my time at RSD, I can honestly say it helped develop the person I am today. But I'd like to share with you a few things that I hope will help you on your way to high achievement. These are the commando values and the commando spirit. The commando values are broken up into four things. Excellence, where you strive to do better. Integrity, where you tell the truth. Self-discipline, where you resist the easy option. And humility, where you respect the rights diversity and contribution of others. We go further into the commando spirit and this is more about you as a person. And this is again is broken into four main areas. Courage, where you get out in front and do what's right. Determination, where you never give up. Unselfishness, where you put others first and yourself last. And cheerfulness, and this is especially poignant whenever something goes wrong to have cheerfulness in the face of adversity. If you take these eight things into account, there's no doubt you'd strive for high achievement. I'd like to say a huge congratulations to all the prize winners on your tremendous achievements. And for those of you who haven't won this year, learn from it and next year it could be you. I'd like to leave you with one last thing to look at. It's something I look back at when I strive for high achievement. It's a speech that Teddy Roosevelt said in 1910 called Man in the Arena. Whenever times are tough, I always reflect back on it and it always helps me get through. Finally, thank you for having me and I hope I haven't bored you all too much. And I look forward to seeing all your high achievements in the future. Good luck. All the best.